Hi friends, uh, continuing on from the previous tutorial uh, in which I explained the Caesar, type, uh, Caesar cipher or OT13 cipher. Um, this is the fourth tutorial in this series. So let's look at the previous one. So in here we saw that uh, we had a problem with running this thing because whenever if we type in Python tree raw 13 demo so the problem with this was that if you typed in a string like abc and we said shifted by let's say 10 it worked now let's say we are running it and we are saying shifted by like 14 characters it is working and if we say uh, hello and we say shifted by 14 we get an error so the thing is that whenever we get past the 26 like there are 26 characters in here a to z so whenever we get past the 20, uh, 26th character, we get an error. So in here, if we type in like hello 13, so whenever you get past 13, the 26th enter a character, if you type 10, 10 works. So the thing is that whenever we get past uh, 26, so whenever it's like the H is the seventh one. So if we add uh, 13 to seven, it becomes 17 so that's how if we add each one of them and if the character gets more than 26 it would show us an error so how do we <coughs> prevent this from happening so one way of doing it is this one and this time if you are checking so this time you're checking for the new location so in here you're saying that uh, the new location variable which holds the location of the variable of the, or the character after it has been increased or incremented so let's say if we have a and we are shift, trying to shift it by three characters the new location would be four because a is at uh, one and then d is by at fourth character fourth one so or in the computer parlance or in the computer terms it is zero a is at zero and if you add three to it it becomes three so let's say uh, what happens if uh, uh, as we saw previously if it gets more than uh, 26 it chooses an error so in this one we are saying that uh, if we are using an if statement and saying that if it is the new location or is greater than 26 or equal to 26 what you do is that you use new location and then you minus it from it the um, number 26 so this way if the number is what you're typing if the new location it is greater than than 26 then what it does is uh, it reduces it or deducts it uh, by uh, 26 so let's say you are typing an H and you are adding uh, let's say the 22 to it so H is a 7 character so 7 plus 22 it becomes 29 so 29 is greater than or greater than uh, 26 so what it does is it reduces 26 from it so th uh, this way no matter what you type uh, it will just deduct it uh, by 26 so this is one way of doing it it's not a good way or the correct way of doing it uh, that the correct way of doing it uh, or should I say the way that is more uh, modular or uh, uh, that I will explain in the next tutorial so this is I'm just demonstrating it this is one way of doing it so if we save it and we, we run this, let's say clear, and we say Python, mm, sorry, rot. Why am I typing these semicolons? Not C++ or Java. Okay. If new location is greater than or equal to, I am I forgot this. Let's run this this time. It shouldn't be an error. So previously, when we typed in like 14, 15, it showed us an error. However, this time it does it because if we get more than, uh, let's say, if we get more than uh, the character 26, it just reduces 26 to it. So if we type in like. Um, let's say hello and we type in like 20 what it does is that it rounds it off it reduces it, it deducts it uh, by 26 so if we have character like L 
L is I think at 26 uh, at the 12th character so if you add uh, if you add uh, uh, L is at the uh, 12th character and if you add like we are shifting it by 20 so it becomes 32 so what it does is it uh, when we say that if this statement in here the this if statement it said that um, if it is greater than 26 what you do is you minus it by 26 so now if you minus it by 26 32 minus 26 is 6 which is F and here we can see that hello this third one L and here it is F so this is how it works guys uh, however there is a problem with this one so if we type in this hello and we do it by 25 it is good <laughs> but uh, if we run it by 26 it just shows the same string and another problem is that uh, if we type in hello and we say do it by let's say 44 it shows us an error so now how do we get rid of this error how do we uh, what should I say how do we make this program so that no matter what value the user enters like 500 1000 we don't get error uh, I will be explaining that um, in the next tutorial so I can just I could have just created that uh, how to make it work without all these errors and all these things that you get but I thought this way is better because this way you get to learn why well, why do we uh, do things certain in a certain way so the first way I showed you guys uh, was a static way and then I taught you guys how to make it uh, so that the user can enter the variable and how to make it work if it is greater than 13 but less than 26 uh, so uh, th these are the different steps so I'm showing it I could have done it like created one tutorial and explained it but this way it's better because this is I'm explaining each step how to go, uh, get around it how to make it work so this is it for this tutorial guys if you have any questions or any recommendations feel free to put it in the comment section below and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one